Hey y'all, this is Keisha from Lorraine Streets and Things. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'll be making a um, seafood bowl that will include some shrimp, some snow crab legs, um, boiled eggs, some corn on the cob, and I'm also making my special sauce to go on top. So anyways, these are my red potatoes. Um, you do not have to peel the skin off of red potatoes unless you want to, but people keep it on because of the color. Um, and there is nothing wrong with eating the skin. So I just put a little garlic salt in the water. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is my fresh corn, and I'm just going to uh, take the skin and the hull and everything off of there. Make it nice and clean to get some of those... Um, what do you call it? those strings? Try to take many the strings off as you possibly can, and um, yeah, I'm having a hard time in this video because I've been having some problems with my hands. My muscles are not um, strong as they used to be, but anyways, yeah. So this is my corn after I shucked it or whatever, and. I just added a little bit of butter and some sea salt in the water for it to boil. And I believe um, like 8 to 10 minutes, the corn will be done, you know, unless you want to cook longer than that. But really only like 8 to 10 minutes and it, it's perfectly boiled. And so this is for my sauce. I'm prepping my sauce and this is just a piece of white onion and I'm just chopping it up, a rough chop into little small pieces um you don't have to do it like this sometimes i don't even cut it as small as this i just slice it and put it in the um skillet but this particular time i just decided to chop it up like this and then i'll be chopping up some fresh garlic cloves that i already peeled and um yeah this sauce is really really good you guys it's like a savory sauce it has brown sugar in it but it's not really really sweet because you have all the other seasonings and stuff in it but it's a very very good sauce and this is just i had the onion in there and i'm basically um uh, i must have put the um garlic clove in there already i think i lost the video i don't know where it went but anyway these are all the spices that i use um yeah, my iPad keep falling. But anyways, so I just cut my garlic up, my onion up, put it in a bowl, and then I add all my spices to it. So then in a skillet with a um, <coughs> little butter, I'm going to add all of this stuff right here, all my spices, everything in that bowl, I'm going to pour it all in there. And it's going to all cook at the same time. And... I'm adding some um, thyme, and I'm going to add some rosemary. Um, if you find ground rosemary, probably would be better because you don't have to worry about the little leaves, or like the thyme or whatever. But um, still, it gives us such a good taste. Um, and don't forget the ginger. It really balances it out to me. This is a really good sauce, you guys. You should try to make this sauce for your next seafood boil. And here's my brown sugar. Now, you can make this sauce thick if you want it to be thick. and um, Or you can reduce it so it can be, yeah, like I have more thick consistency to it. But me personally, I, it didn't matter to me. So, I'm not going to make mine as thick. Because the longer you keep it on the heat, the more it's going to reduce. And then you're going to get that real sticky-like consistency. Um, like almost like a gravy that type of consistency a nappe consistency just adding a little sea salt not a lot just to balance it out anyway and this is my snow crabs now i do break it apart because i want it to fit in the bowl that's the only reason if if i was using a bigger bowl then um i would just keep it all together but i do break it apart and no i did not lose any meat those it had a lot of meat in it to me and um i'm just rinsing them off in cold water 
because sometimes it'd be like you know little stuff on the shells or whatever and you are going to put them in your mouth so you know um but yeah i just break these up however many i want and i think i had two snow crab clusters and i broke that i broke up and i ate like two different days so this is like last for me for like two days and um now I'm doing a I'm cleaning my shrimp out with cold water. Don't use warm water because warm water will cook your shrimp. Yep. And honestly, if you keep it in the cold water too long, it'll cook it too. But I'm just making sure, you know, that the that poop track is, is cleaned out. You know, the back of the shrimp, that's where the poop is. The the line, the lining underneath the shrimp. That's not poop it's just like if you're eating chicken and you have all those veins in there that's what that is but the back of the strip is where the actual uh poop is so that's the part that you want to take out but they clean these um they shuck these uh strip pretty good they took uh the um the poop out so usually if some left in there you gotta make sure but they did pretty good at the um, store, Ralph's, to be exact. Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. So I do add a little um the seafood foil into my pot. And I also put this in my sauce, too. I don't even know if I showed that. But, yeah, I put a little of that in my sauce, too, just for the spice and the flavor. And the only thing I put in this pot is these seasonings, my seafood, and um, some butter. And then I'm going to add the juice of uh, half a lemon. I didn't put no water in here because I'm like steaming it. So that liquid from the lemon. But if you would like to, you could put like maybe one fourth cup of water. You don't really need um, a whole pot of water. It's not a boil. It's just steaming some seafood, and um, that's it. And it don't take long at all. I say like a good 10 minutes, and it, it, it they'll be steamed good. Maybe 15 minutes at the most. Anything over that, it's going to be overcooked. That's it. And the lemon. I'm going to squeeze a half a lemon on there. And you know how you get all the juice out of your lemon, you guys? Before you cut your lemon, you have to roll it. Put your lemon on the counter or whatever and roll it with the palm of your hands. Roll it back and forth to release all the juices. And that's how you get all that good juice out of that lemon. Same thing with a lime. But sometimes limes are really, really dry. But yeah, after I do this, I'm going to put this on the stove with a top on it and just let it steam and i just put a little garlic salt on my shrimp now let me tell you something i really don't like boiled shrimp so i don't even know why i did this it's because i made a boil for somebody before i actually cooked this for myself and i was tired and irritated because usually i like to saute my own my shrimp and then add them to the bowl once I get my bowl together. But yeah, this is my sauce. This is how I do mine. This is a really, really good sauce. All those spices and everything that are in there. Then I add some hot sauce. And I'm going to stir that together. When I tell y'all this sauce is good, this sauce is good. Yep. I add a little red wine vinegar. And just a smidge. Not, not a lot. Just that much. And I'm going to add... Um, a half a lemon to this. It depends on how much sauce you're making, how tangy you want yours. But I usually add a half a lemon to mine. Very, very, very good. I know some people will wait till like their onion and garlic and stuff is like cooked to a certain consistency, but. I don't 
I don't want mine like that. I don't want it to be like exclamation or whatever. Like so this is the way I like mine. It's very, very good. And there's a butter sauce that I make, but it's just basically butter and lemon juice and garlic, fresh garlic clove. And then it's one that I make with ranch dressing, the package, and the actual liquid dressing. So good. And that one is butter, lemon. See, this is done already. That other sauce is butter, lemon, the liquid ranch, the ranch packet. And that's it. And garlic. Oh, so good. And this sauce right here. Mm -hmm. It has the perfect balance of spice, sweetness, and salt all together. Good savory sauce. And here yeah, I found these little bowls on um, at uh, Walmart. It was two for a dollar. And I love these bowls so much. You probably can see them a lot on my videos. Because these bowls are so freaking cute. They round. And they kind of deep. The perfect amount of depth to them and um yes yeah, so i'm just adding a little of my seafood a little of this and a little of that to make my little cute little bowl i mean this is for if you don't want a lot of seafood you just want you just got a taste for it and you just want a little bit of stuff you know you just break it up and you put it in a bowl got my one little piece of corn well it's actually a whole corn but it's a smaller one though and um, my shrimp, some potatoes, and one egg, boiled egg. And yes, yeah, so I'm just going to add my sauce on top of this. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, y'all. This is my allergies. And um, look at this. Mm -hmm. Just a nice little simple bowl. And much sauce as you would like. You can go to the bottom of the bowl and dip it. Mm hmm but anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to come back and see what else I have on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Keisha from Lorraine's Treats and Things. And let's continue to grow my channel. And, you know, if you have a channel, tell me so I can go subscribe and watch some of your videos as well. And look at this. You add a little pieces of lemon wedges and some little um, parsley on top. Look at that. <laughs> all right, you guys. Have a great weekend. Happy Easter and all that stuff. This is Keisha from Lorraine's Treats and Things. Bye.